Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be comparing T-Mobile home internet with Suddenlink cable internet running on a Samsung S10 Plus. Welcome to One Way to Look at It. I hope you guys like this video and get something out of it. So please comment, like, share, subscribe, and enjoy. Okay, so let's talk about what's available on both of these. With a T-Mobile, you can you have 2.4 gigahertz connection and a 5 gigahertz connection. That's just, those are the Wi-Fi speeds. With the sudden link, that's dependent on your router that you buy. This is a TP-Link Archer C9, and it has the same capabilities. 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and also on the back just like the T-Mobile you have uh, where you can connect directly and it'll run at 1 gigahertz. Uh, the setup on these is really easy on both of them. Um, if you want to get in and change the, the network name you can do that. You can change the password. Um, they're both really easy to set up. With the uh, T-Mobile, T-Mobile actually, you can see here, it gives real simple instructions, shows you how to add it onto your phone, and you can be set up in like no time with this. It's really plug and play. Um, you might get the idea is like, well, look, there's no, there's no um, cable to the wall like like Suddenlink. I could take this anywhere I want. Well, I just checked on T-Mobile website, and it's only good at your location. They don't want you to take this and go drive, you know, a hundred miles away or something and try to use it there. They want this to be working from the location that that you're agreeing to use it. So, um, also this is LTE 4, it's not 5G, so uh, I don't know if there's going to be a 5G version coming out in the future or not. Okay, so let's talk about cost. The T-Mobile is $50 a month. If, it would be $55, but since I have auto pay set up, I say $5. The and part of the reason that I got the T-Mobile was because Suddenlink. Uh, originally, I was paying like fifty dollars a month for that, but now it's up to a hundred dollars a month, and I don't even have any equipment. This I bought this myself. This is a Netgear CM five hundred cable modem. It was around sixty dollars. You can get it on Amazon, and you can you'll see it in the. There's a link below if you. Uh, want to get this because otherwise it would be about 20 bucks a month for equipment costs from from Suddenlink for this and then the router is my own again uh, it's a TP-Link Archer C9 and that's about $240 on Amazon there's a there'll be a link below for that too um, so, but still, by buying these myself, I'm saving money from uh, instead of buying it instead of renting the equipment from from Suddenlink. The T-Mobile has a, I'm told, a six and a half hour battery life in it. With the cable modem and the router, if I don't have them connected to alternate power. They're going to go down if the power goes out, which is really, in my area, we have power outages in the summer because of fire alerts. So the six and a half hours on this T-Mobile is great. Um, I did get a battery backup for these guys, but that cost me extra money. So that's additional cost that you have to consider with this guy. Okay, so regarding speed, the T-Mobile, they say they'll go up to 50 megabits per second. And with the sudden link, I haven't 
count that I can go up to 150 megabits per second. Uh, on their website, they even offer, they say you can get up to 400 megabits per second, but I'm not able to get that in my area. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually do a Wi-Fi test with the phone so you can see the actual speeds that we are going to get with both providers. Okay, I'm going to apologize in advance. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to show up, uh, but here we go. So first, let's check the connection. Come on. Okay, so just just to show you this area 51 that is this my sudden link connection and you can see I still I do have the other networks that I can connect to so but we're going to start off with the sudden link and we're going to do a speed test so we're using the P speed test dot net app so you can see this is using sudden link eh. and we'll just go the speeds are really good I mean that is a really good speed I have no complaints I have no complaints with either provider about speeds uh, I have two computers. I work all from home all day. Um, like I said, two computers. We have multiple phones connected on Wi-Fi. Okay, so there you can see 161 on the download and 7.6 on the upload. All right, so now let's connect to... Come on. It's connected at 2.4 gigahertz. All right, connected. Run the same test again. It's finding the server. Okay, we can see we are definitely on T-Mobile now. And we'll go. So I have seen these numbers are not as good. But again, I have no complaints at all about my speeds, my likes. I mean, I working from home, I'll have I have voice over voice over IP running, I'll be doing screen sharing, um, you know, all these running at the same time and everything runs really well. Now this is really interesting. The upload and the download speeds for T Mobile are awesome. Which my son tells me would be great for gaming. So there you can see, I mean, those numbers are so close. Uh, I think that's that's awesome results. All right, now let's switch to back to, come on. Let's try the 5G and uh, tell the difference between 5G, not 5G, sorry, 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz that... The um, five gigahertz is uh, has better bandwidth, and it's better at closer proximities, where the we have a, a, a farther range with a two point four gigahertz. Why did it go there? Okay, so all right. Sorry about that. Okay, we're on T-Mobile again. And we're going to do the... So it is looking like, like the uh, five gigahertz is faster. And again, this is a Samsung S10 Plus uh, 4G. Ooh, 
Okay. That was interesting. Sorry. So the numbers were better. So. All right. So there you go. I just wanted to share this with you. I'm not here to say one's better than the other. Like I said, I can use either one with no problems on my computers, my phones, my TV. We have a fire stick or that we use for a TV. Uh, no problems with any of those. Uh, now, you can look at this, decide on the cost and speeds and see how this will work for you. Thanks a lot and hope to see you again.